If you're a parent, you already know how stressful it can be. But imagine how demanding it will become in a world of designer babies, where we struggle to keep up with the genetically modified Joneses. Most of us have trouble deciding the colour of our next car. How will we deal with choices about our child's personality or intelligence? And what happens when child number two or three comes along and new genetic treatments become available? Do we inject upgrades into our older kids or just learn to say, why can't you be more like your younger brother? Companies are working right now to develop and to market an artificial human womb. A human embryo could be nurtured all the way through to childbirth without ever once having contact with a human mother. Artificial human chromosomes were developed several years ago and soon we may have artificial sperm and eggs. Soon it seems babies really will be born in test tubes. But what will knowing that do to their sense of identity and worth later on? And what will happen to the way we view human sexuality? We've already stripped sex of much of its mystical significance. For many people today, sex might be little more than a casual amusement to be enjoyed between friends. But now we're stripping sex of its importance in reproduction too. As reproduction moves more from the bedroom to the laboratory, sex may become little more than just another pleasure drug. Perhaps the greatest reason to be cautious is what all this might mean to our basic humanity. If some people get their way, we might soon see the McDonaldization of the human race, where genetically modified DNA sequences are patented and sold to the highest bidder. When that happens, the possibilities for corporate crime become enormous.